Hi there, we have a new update for you, which means you now can create your own listing images on Planify Pro. So how it works is when you open the collection page, um, you can go to any planner you want to create a listing image for. For example, let me find one. For example, this floral cover here. What you can do next is click on make listing picture and then this window should show up. Then you can further customize the text and type in something new. You can also choose to show your branding down here below. And if you don't want to add your name below, you can just go here and then remove the text like this. And then below the header, there is a subtitle or a subheader. And this one's the sizing. So you can leave it as is. It will automatically insert you the size of the listing but you can further customize and edit the text and for example type in instant download PDF so your customers know you're selling a PDF file and then if you have a recipe code you can choose to show the recipe code and what you can do next is customize the corner radius so this corner radius will be um, the roundness of the corners of the template you see here. If you don't want to have a corner applied, you can set it to zero like this. And then next, uh, you can choose a background type. And there currently are 13 background types. So you can select one you like, for example, um, this one here. And then below, you can also choose a color. You can either choose a color um, a suggested color like here from here or you can select your own color and choose a new color like this for example and you can always go back and change it to a new background if you don't like this current background for example you can also choose uh, one that's a transition background like this one here and then you can also choose a new um, shadow if you want to apply a shadow to your template. And we currently have 92 shadows. So choose any shadow you like. And once you're happy with how the background and how the colors are, you can go next to the fonts up here. And here you will be able to customize both fonts. So the main header and the subheader. So the primary font will be this upper text here and the secondary font will be um, this text here. So to change the primary font, click on primary here and then you can choose a new font you like and then go to secondary and then you can choose a new font for the subtitle here below. And once you have the fonts selected and you have the font size customized, uh, you can go to the image position and here is where you can rotate the template. You can make the paper bigger or smaller. Uh, let me quickly show you. So under image type, you can choose um, if you want the templates to be attached like here. You can have them single. Um, you can have them split up next to each other parallel or you can also have them split up but rotate, rotate it inwards like this. So let me select the fifth version and then you can also choose to zoom in or zoom out, make them bigger or smaller. You can rotate them. You can also um, move them vertically and horizontally like this. And then you can also um, move the axis like this as well. And then if you go, if you click here on the numbers, it will reset you the whole setting back to its original like this. So once you're finished with your uh, listing image, what you can do next is click on get listing image to download the image. So it will generate a few seconds and then a window should show up if you're on Firefox. This window here and then you can click on OK and I will quickly show you how the image, the downloaded listing image looks like. 
So this is how the image looks like and you can import this listing image to Etsy or your online shop or anywhere else. And what we implemented as well is for the system to save these settings, save the fonts, save the template, rotation, the axis, etc. And then you can go to a new listing. For example, um, we could go to the Christmas planners. I have a bunch of Christmas planners here. And then you could go to a complete new listing, click on make listing picture and it will save you the fonts and the font size you previously used in the last listing image you generated. So this was how to create listing images on Planify Pro. If you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook anytime and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!